What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I am bringing you one of the more exciting collection videos in my entire WWE figure collection and that is my Finn Balor collection. As you see here I have quite a number of Finn Balor figures. This isn't even all of them. However, I want to take you through each individual one like we have done in the past with my collection videos. I will go through each individual Finn Balor figure, tell you about it, what I like about it, what I don't like about it you know explain all of the things about it and then i will give a short review of it but i think you guys will enjoy this i have a ton of customs in here from showstopper custom figs from the work that i've gotten from him and just a lot of great finn balor figures to go through so let's go ahead and get straight into it all right guys starting out first we have the ring set exclusive finn balor figure which i love a lot it is a very simple but very effective finn balor figure i think it's the only non-demon Finn Balor that we have gotten and they did use the correct body mold which is the Cody Rhodes style torso and I think this figure is awesome because it is very simple but it is Finn Balor to a T you know very simple it's got the teeth design on the butt right there and the knee pad and just everything about this figure is awesome the only thing I hate about it is that it came with the rubber jacket and t-shirt instead but I threw a custom jacket on there to make it a lot better. The next figure we have up right here is three of the Elite 41 Finn Balor figures, which is the very first demon painted Finn Balor Elite that we got. And I think it is a really awesome figure. You know, the paint detail they use for this is amazing, just like they do with all the demon Balors. However, the only gripe is that terrible, terrible body mold that they went with. I don't know what gave them the idea to use that Daniel Bryan style. But I think all of the paint detail in this figure is amazing. Just the only gripe is that body mold. Like, what in God's name makes you think that Finn Balor is this chubby or this non-defined? But whatever, the figure is really awesome, and it is the first ever Demon Balor that we've received. So I am happy with the overall figure. Up next, the figure we have right here is this Custom Elite Finn Balor non-painted. This is way before we got the ringside exclusive Finn Balor. And all it is is a Cody Rhodes Elite with the you know design taken off of the trunks and then a custom Balor Club t-shirt thrown on there and this figure has done very well for me as a placeholder you know again I made this way before that ringside exclusive was released or even shown for that matter so I think this figure did really well for me for you know the meantime but now it is just going to be a custom Finn Balor with custom t-shirt. Up next we have the Elite 46 Finn Balor and I'm going to go ahead and say it to start off that this figure is really really overrated in my opinion I think it gets way too much praise the abs right here are painted onto a black molded torso, and I think that's really, really stupid in my opinion. I think the detail is incredible on this figure, however, I just think they went about it the wrong way. Again, with the terrible body mold choice, and just, I don't know why they would paint the skin tone over black instead of, you know, filling in the skin tone uh, with p black paint instead of vice versa. But the figure has great details, and, you know, it's cool to include the entrance accessories and stuff like that. However, I am not a fan of this paint in particular, and I do not like the way they made the figures mold. But yeah, it is an Elite 46 Finn Balor. The next figure we have right here is the best Mattel Demon Finn Balor figure they have ever made, hands down. This is the way you make a Demon Finn Balor figure. The paint and the accurate body mold just a lot better in my opinion. I think this is the way you make a Finn Balor figure. You know, they got the abs on there. I think that the back of the head right here is awesome. I love the faded detail in the hair. And just everything about this figure is hands down the best Finn Balor that they have made. Between this and the ringside exclusive, this has to take the cake just because it's a Demon Finn Balor. Of course, you have your accessories with this figure, including this chainsaw, which is really awesome. No detail on it, but it is a cool accessory to throw in because you know he did wear that at TakeOver Dallas. And of course, you have your headdress and your entrance vest coat, which again, this headdress right here doesn't even go all the way down, but that's not a big deal to me because the body mold is actually accurate, and I'll take that over anything else on this figure. Up next, we have another Demon Finn Balor, and it is the one from SummerSlam 2016. And again, I do not know why they chose this terrible body mold for the figure. However, you know, it's just it's just so frustrating. This figure released after the Network Spotlight, so I don't even understand. But everything else on this figure is absolutely badass. You have the great detail in the paint, as always, that they do on the Network or not the network, but the Finn Balor Elite figures, and just, God, this figure would be absolutely amazing if they got the body mold right, but I do like this figure, I just wish that the body mold was accurate, because this chubby Daniel Bryan style just does not give Finn Balor enough credit, you give Cody, Cody Rhodes the ripped up torso, and you give Finn Balor the pudgy one, but it is what it is. Up next, we have the very first custom Prince Devitt 
figure in this collection video, and it is the Freddy Krueger attire that he wore. And of course, this hat is removable, and that is from the NECA Freddy figure, Ultimate Freddy. And this arm right here is interchangeable with the glove hand, as you see here. That way, I do not have to switch out the hand, and I do have a fist hand if I want that. And I'm not going to take this uh, sweater off. However, I will show you that the text is on the back right here where it says... One, two, Devitt's coming for you, which looks amazing by Showstopper Custom Figs. And he did add the sweater details into this thing, and the head detail is amazing as well. And I really love the white outsoles on this figure. It's freaking awesome. Just one of my favorite uh, Prince Devitt figures in my entire collection. Up next, we have another custom Prince Devitt figure, and it is the Punisher attire this time. And I think this figure is absolutely badass because the Punisher is my favorite Marvel character, as a lot of you know. And this paint job is just amazing. I love the skulls on it. I think it's very awesome. Very simple. The black and white looks amazing, though. And I just love the skull. If you hold this figure back, you can see that it looks like his eyes are closed. And I just think that looks really, really badass. And the skull that Showstopper Custom Figs did on the chest looks absolutely amazing. Definitely, definitely accurate to Prince Devitt when he wore this attire. And the all-black... Uh, trunks, knee pads, and kick pads look amazing with this figure. And just, I cannot say enough how badass this figure looks. Up next, we have another Sick AF Custom Prince Devitt figure. And this time it is the all-white Anti-Venom. And it looks absolutely amazing. If you know me, you know I go crazy for white attires. White is my favorite color. And, you know, Neville at SummerSlam totally blew my mind with that white attire. And just getting back into this figure... The blue accents and the bicep bands and everything about this figure looks incredible. I love the all-white cleanliness of it. White is so clean, so fresh, so icy. And just the logos and everything on this figure are so clean by Showstopper Custom Figs. But again, if you stand back right here, it will look like the eyes are blacked out. And I just think that's really cool from this, you know, distance. But that is not the case. However, it does look that way. But again, Finn Balor... Or Prince Devitt, I should say, in the all-white looks amazing. And I hope he brings an attire like this to the WWE very soon. Up next, we have another custom Prince Devitt. And it is the Spawn-inspired attire. And I gotta say it, the first time I saw this, I wasn't a big fan of it. But now that I have it in figure form, I think it's really badass. I think that Spawn is a really cool character from comics. And I think that this inspired uh, paint is really simple but very, very nice. Even on the back here with the white streaks and the black, you can see... All of the detail that Showstopper Custom Figs put into this. And I think that the paint surrounding his abdomen really makes his uh, abs pop off. Really, in real life, if you go back and watch his matches with this paint, it looks really, really sick. And I am happy to have this Prince Devitt figure in my collection. Up next, we have another custom Prince Devitt Elite figure. And it is the Joker Heath Ledger inspired paint job on his face of course you don't have much paint on the body except for on the back right here where you can see the text that says we stop looking for monsters under the bed when we realize they're inside of us and i think that is really really awesome showstopper custom figs totally nailed that font on his back there and then you just have your standard wrist tape and fingers there and on the kick pads i really love this a lot because you have the white outsoles and the head scan is really awesome as well you have the sculpted detail on the head and it is painted up to resemble Heath Ledger and the Joker there with the green hair and the white face paint. But I do love this figure a lot, and it is the best Joker Prince Devitt I've ever seen. Up next, we have a custom Prince Devitt from New Japan Pro Wrestling at Wrestle Kingdom 8. This thing looks absolutely incredible. You know, it was said that this is a, supposed to be inspired by Carnage from Marvel. But I think that Fergal Devitt said that that was not the case when they went in. That was not what they were going for. However, I think it just turned into that. But Showstopper Custom Figs totally killed this paint job. He totally nailed the black and paint details. The black and red paint details and the purple on the tights looks incredible as well. And this is one of his most, you know, tougher uh, paint designs that he has worn with that teeth on his face intertwining the way it does. Just looks amazing on that figurehead. And I do not know how... Showstopper Custom Figs got all that detail in there, but I absolutely love this figure, and I think it is one of the best paint jobs that Finn Balor or Prince Devitt has worn. Up next, we have another Marvel-inspired attire, but this time it is Venom, and this is one of my favorite Prince Devitt attires, and it is so badass. I love the way the black symbiote is coming over his body on the right side and is fully engulfed in black on the left. And if you look at it at this right angle, you can see the head of Venom coming through. But on the back, you have the symbiote again coming down his back. 
and just the way that it looks looks amazing and just the face of Venom at the right angle you can totally see Venom in it and it just I love the way that they painted this on his body again with the white outsoles and the white details in the kick pads and knee pads looks absolutely amazing totally ties the entire attire together and I just love this it is so badass the pink and the teeth detail is incredible and Showstopper Custom Figs is absolutely a magician for even making this figure happen and last but not least, we have my favorite Finn Balor in my collection, and it is this custom elite Finn Balor from his match with Samoa Joe in the first ever NXT Steel Cage match at NXT TakeOver The End. And this figure is so absolutely badass, and it looks so sick. I love the black and gray and white all tied together so beautifully. It contrasts so well. I think that this black, gray, and white looks way better than black and red. And we have gotten this figure in a basic from Mattel, but that is a basic, and this is an elite, and it looks absolutely amazing. Showstopper Custom Figs again with the hookup on this figure, the teeth. The gray detail, everything about it looks so nice. And again, with the white outsoles and the teeth on the knee pads, just looks absolutely incredible. And this is hands down my favorite Finn Balor in my collection. I don't think they will ever top this. Anything that Mattel can make can beat this. But again, my last Finn Balor in my collection. But this absolutely is the best. Alright guys, that is going to do it for my entire Finn Balor collection. I have taken you through every single one of them. All the Prince Devitts, all the Finn Balors. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think it was a pretty highly requested video. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a like, leave a comment down below what your favorite Finn Balor slash Prince Devitt figure from this collection is. Leave a comment down below on future collection videos you would like to see. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.